When the best pistol in the game is an epic, you start to wonder. Today we look at the Pea Shooter, one of the first rewards you would have got going into this Bounty of Blood DLC. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Pea Shooter is an epic pistol, you are rewarded more or less at the start of the Bounty of Blood DLC store campaign. Now I don't want to ruin it for people who haven't started it yet but you get it from the Sheriff and let's just leave it at that. Now because it's an epic weapon I know for a fact many many people have overlooked it and probably just left it not thinking it will be anything good. And it's understandable, it's an epic. Why do you think twice about it going into a new DLC when there are so many other legendaries you know are hiding, waiting to be found by you? Why bother with an epic? But people, this is what they want you to think. But don't. You should be saving every quest or mission reward you get. It doesn't matter if it's a rare, epic, legendary, save them. And I've said this many, many times, and I know many of you guys actually do keep them, but there's still a majority of you that don't even look twice. But this one, the Pea Shooter, it should have been 100% kept. It is incredible. So this Jacob's Pistol, this epic Jacob's Pistol, comes with no anointments. And at around that 10k damage on a Mayhem 10 level 60, I mean, looking at it on paper as well, I'd agree it don't look that great. I actually made a mistake of starting the DLC before getting to a level 60, so mine dropped at a level 57. But thanks to my pal Seamaj Nawab for sending me the level 60 version. I mean, you can always switch to another Vault Hunter, get them up to a level 60 before starting the DLC campaign. I mean, it's literally at the start you get this, so it wouldn't take you long. So I suppose that's a good thing. So how this weapon works is simple. Headshots tear enemies apart, but at the same time create what should be known as a flacker like explosion and would be known if the flacker hadn't been nerfed into the ground, but that's what it does. Around every enemy, with every headshot, it spawns explosions, which seemingly fall to the ground unless an enemy is nearby. It will obviously hit that enemy if they are nearby and it does great damage. And this is every headshot people like I said, so enemies who are grouped up will get absolutely obliterated by this tiny little thing. I know yeah it has a small mag but in fact it doesn't really make much of a difference because of how quick this thing reloads. And this is even without reload benefits and buffs via my build. And as you can see by the background footage on screen now, this thing gets to a point of just creating an almost screen blur. It's that potent. And yeah I've used every other pistol in the game, even the new ones like the Bloom and the Unkempt Herald. And you know what? I think I like this thing more. My favourite pistol in the game so far prior to these DLC and the events, I always liked the Magin, it's the one thing I'd always go back to pistol wise. This is a lot like that in terms of how it feels. Now I ain't including what I'd describe as a machine pistol like the Hydro Thrust, the Miscreant and the Light Show as these are just disgusting DPS wise but they burn through the ammo at a rate that can only be countered with you messing with your build. This I am comparing to the generic pistols and the way they work and a Maggie and the generic side is my favourite, or was. I think I prefer this now. So this epic pistol, the Pea Shooter, is in my opinion a must keep. And like I said, maybe if you've already ran the story and threw this thing away or just disregarded it, do the story again on a different Vault Hunter, but just make sure you are a level 60 before starting the DLC story, as this thing drops near the start. But yeah guys, this amazing Pea Shooter is one I recommend you definitely getting hold of, keeping and using. On that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.